Hi guys, I thought I'd do a short little video for uh, Skylanders Giants for 3DS. I don't think a lot of people really know about this version. Uh, hold on, here we go. It's it's a platforming game, as opposed to the other ones which are kind of like hack and slash and you can't even jump. Well, here you have double jump and all that will be. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> no, just self. That doesn't go anywhere. Of course, you have L, which is dash. Uh, B is double jump. A is also dash. What does R do? Nothing, I guess. Oh, R, R does something later in the game. If it follows the first game. Ah! Um, B is normal attack. Uh, not B. Y is normal attack, and X is special attack. As you can see, it's a pretty standard platformer, but... Hmm. I was noticing quite a bit of lag in the first level, but... As you can see... As you can see, this game is in 3D. I just turned the mode on. So that's why it looks messed up. So I'll turn it back off. I noticed quite a bit of lag and, and just weird graphical issues in the first level, but... I don't know, now it seems to be running better. Good. I'm glad. This is the same engine as the first game. Quite obviously. Here, let's switch. There's a giant. Uh, you have pretty much all the same abilities, except additionally... You have... Ground Stomp Attack. pretty much the same exact game, but what confuses me is that the developer on the box is listed as... listed as N-Space, so is that like a new name for Vicarious Vision? Because it's very obviously the same company. Man. Okay, so as you can tell, I've played this game before, I know what kind of stuff to complete. I'm curious if there's an overworld. Okay. That's Joe I from Family Guy. I were being held captive there in the first place. I don't know. All I did was win a few hands of pirate cards. Pretty handily, actually. And then whammo! I guess they don't like winners. Man, pirates are dangerous. They're no good lying, plundering thieves. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But you should see the cool stuff I won. Check this out. It's an awesome cake recipe. Not a recipe, Flynn. It's a map to a giant pirate's treasure. Oh, well, that explains the giant pirate who took it from me. Luckily, I copied it. Good thing I always carry pirate mustard. It has a thousand and one pieces. A wanted poster. Wait! Do you know who this is? Actually, come to think of it, that's the guy who stole my map. That is Captain Brightbeard. He terrorized Skylands over 10,000 years ago. See, Flynn? And there's your cake. It's really a chest. 
the chest of exile. The ancient Archeans locked Brightbeard and his pirates inside and sealed it shut with his own sword. Bummer. Meanwhile, I don't know what to tell you, Hugo. That's the guy. Oh, this is terrible. If he's back, he obviously wants to find the chest and bring back his entire fleet. Skylands is in great danger. Well, the thing you're with the most heroic and daring pirate in all of Skylands. Uh, any ideas? Well, legend says that the Archeans hit the chest of exile, but left behind clues to its whereabouts. Here, look at these runes. If you copied them correctly, then this is the first clue. Glenn, set the course for the Tiki Island. What are you? <clears throat> so apparently this game has kind of abandoned the whole Hector A side plot thing from the first game, which is kind of a good thing. It was it got annoying. They're following more closely with the other games. So, is this the overworld? Perhaps. Anyway, last thing I want to show you on this video is what comes in the package. Of course, the game and the playing cards and whatever. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, the sheep came from Spyro. Anyway, hold on for one second. Portal is just pretty much the same as the first one in the starter kit. I think the music is improved, but I gotta turn it down. Uh, the portal is pretty much the same, but I think the characters are, are more are less plasticky feeling. Like they have a little more. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just more high quality feel, and it better be because the starter kit's seventy five dollars. Uh, there we go. So this is the limited edition starter kit from Walmart. It's a Walmart exclusive or else I never would have gone to Walmart. But I don't really know. Hold on. I don't really know why it's colored like that. And it's neat because it's limited edition. What still bothers me about this is that there's no case in the starter kits. <laughs> Just a minor complaint, but all my other ones are in cases. Um, let's see. This is a giant that came in the case. Very cool. And when you put it on the portal, that lights up. And here's the last thing that came in here. Of course, all your old ones will work in this game. And last thing I got is this guy here, Crusher. It's Crush Hour. <laughs> Mm. 
very impressed by the, the normal packaging, so why can't they have the same quality of packaging in the starter kit? I don't understand. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. I, I don't plan on doing a Let's Play or anything, but just wanted to give you a little overview. Definitely, if you have a 3DS, check this game out. It's Crush Hour. Rah. <laughs> I'm a little child again. Alright, have a good day, everyone.